Hey folks, today I'm excited to show you how you can leverage Magic Plan reporting features. These features are designed to enhance your business communication by keeping your entire crew on the same page with real-time collaboration. With Magic Plan, your assessment and documentation processes can become more streamlined and efficient. Let's dive in. So let's start by understanding the fundamentals of Magic Plan's documenting features. Think of it as the foundational elements you can add to your floor plans. It's not just about drawing rooms and placing objects. It's about enhancing these visuals with useful contextual information. So imagine you're overseeing a home renovation project, a task that demands meticulous planning and clear communication, especially if you're coordinating with subcontractors. With Magic Plan, you can simplify this process considerably. Let's say the residence has multiple rooms at different stages of renovation. Instead of constantly referring to lengthy notes or explanations, why not use colors? For instance, rooms painted in red signify areas needing major renovations. Yellow could represent rooms that just need minor touch-ups. And those in green, they're already renovated and don't require further attention. This way, at just a glance, both you and your team instantly grasp the work status of each room, streamlining decisions and actions. Then there's the option of photos and notes that you can add to any element within the plan. It could be on the project level. On the floor level. On the room level and on any other element or object on the floor plan, like a wall or a sink. And as a tip, if you're in a hurry or think better out loud, you can always write notes faster with your device's dictation function. Standing water present in the sink upon arrival. Cool. This ensures that as you revisit your plans, you have all the details, big and small, right where you need them. Another valuable feature is the photo annotation or markup. This lets you add any photo to the plan and draw or write on it. Maybe there's a particular wall texture you captured and you want to circle and highlight it. Now let's shift our focus to objects within our plan. Magic Plan offers a variety of markers within the Annotation Objects library. For example, here, I'll mark a water damage spot with an annotation shape. Notice you can also add labels to any annotation object for clarity. Additionally, you have simple text boxes. Sticky Notes an X symbol to indicate a damage or warning, and many other objects to represent your findings. For those keen on capturing a holistic view, the app lets you integrate photos with the camera object, allowing you to place it where you were standing when you took the picture for reference. And my personal favorite, is the 360 camera object that you can use to create 360 panoramas of the place without needing any special camera or hardware. It's one thing to see a room as a flat layout and another to visualize it in its full spatial glory. This feature is great for getting a comprehensive feel of a place. So by now, we have explored the different annotation objects that are available on the app. But in case you wish to incorporate something specific in your plan and it is not available in the library, then the Magic Plan's Custom Object Manager comes in handy. It basically simplifies the process of creating any kind of object. You can access the Custom Object Manager via the cloud and add 2D or 3D files of the new objects that you want to create. Once published, you can head to the app and find your custom objects. As you can see, I created specific objects in my workspace to track moisture readings and identify the type of water damage. Cool. Now, for those of you who want an even more tailored approach to capturing information, Magic Plan offers custom forms and custom attributes that function like a checklist or questionnaire and can be customized to your specific needs. This is especially useful when you want to collect data in a uniform way. So in this example, I'll be setting up a custom attribute for a Windows and Doors installation business to determine the frame type and glazing type. As you can observe, you can choose the question type from the drop-down. A list, multi-select, text, distance, and more. 
You can also select which elements in the floor plan you'd like to apply this custom attribute to. For this one specifically, I will apply it to Windows and Doors object. Now, after publishing it and switching back to the app, you can see that when I choose one of the windows and go to Details, then Settings, the custom attributes appear. From here, I can pick the frame type and glazing type for this particular window. Then this information can be available on the final report. Going back to the cloud, we can see an example of a custom form for lightning claims. You also have a drop-down with different options of question types, and also the forms can be assigned to a specific element of the project. So, let's go back to the app, and as I've added this form at the floor level, I can find it under Custom Forms. Here, you can see how I can answer the different questions and even add images. You can also add measurement fields, yes and no questions, and even a signature field for those filling out the form. Great. And last but not least beyond annotations, there's commenting. It's a feature that encourages collaborative dialogue between you and your peers. While annotations are about marking and flagging, commenting is about discussion. It's a space where you, your team, or even your clients can drop in thoughts, concerns, or suggestions about each of your projects. You can also view all open comments or tasks and close them as you go. Also, imagine drawing out a plan and your client wanting a window shifted or a wall color changed. They can directly comment on the plan, making feedback loops efficient and contextual. So as you can see, over time, many Magic Plan users have stretched the boundaries of these features to solve communication gaps in field work and difficulties in organizing and accessing their project data. Some have used annotations to playfully experiment with furniture arrangements, trying out various setups. Others have built a visual sequence to chart out project progress, marking phases or stages. Some use annotations and custom attributes to detail out material choices, from floor types to paint hues. In conclusion, these are more than just features. They'll allow you to create stunning reports that can be easily exported and shared with others. They're tools that, when used effectively, can transform how you approach planning and collaboration within your team. Download the app today and find what works best for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up. Till next time, take care.